I'm Moonwater Silvercloth, and I'm here to talk about my new book, Be a Wiccan Badass. Let's see what we have inside. My definition of a Wiccan Badass is one who really seizes her choices, someone who gains knowledge and acts decisively. So what do I mean by that? First, a Wiccan Badass connects with God and Goddess. They are smart and knowledgeable. They have energy. They make things happen. They protect themselves. And they know they're here to serve. In my book, Be a Wiccan Badass, we talk about shielding and how important it is. Shielding is a way for you to protect yourself from negative energies. Shielding is where you take the energy from the earth and you pull it up into your body and then create a shield all the way around you. This helps to protect you from bad entities and other energies. So let's say someone's having a bad day. The energy gets bounced off that shield because it's there. Sometimes when we do our spell work, our spells just don't work. In my book, Be a Wiccan Badass, I talk to you about how to fix that problem. So how does a prosperity spell not work? Well, let's talk about Sandy. Sandy was doing a prosperity spell and it called for the color red in part of the spell. Sandy did the spell and waited, but nothing happened. Sandy was very confused. She didn't know why the spell didn't work. So she went into meditation and talked to the gods. Soon a red ball kept coming up in her meditations. Sandy probed further and then realized and remembered that she had a favorite red ball as a child. She loved that ball. It was a wonderful toy. And then she remembered something else. Amanda took Sandy's ball and Amanda even hit her. This created an emotionally distraught Sandy. Once Sandy got out of her meditation, she realized the red ball was going to be a problem. Sandy realized that the color red was associated with pain and betrayal. So for her prosperity spell to work, she needs to choose a different color. How to create a spell just tailored for you? you first of all, you have to ask, what do I want? You know, that's pretty much the key. What do you want to happen with your spell? What do you want the desired outcome to be? Next, you want to think of what element can I use to enhance my spell? Are you trying to transform something? If so, maybe fire is your element. You're trying to deal with emotions? Maybe water is. Next, you want to see what represents that element. What things can you think of that represent the element you want to work with? Let's say you have air. What represents air to you? Feathers? Incense smoke? What do you really have on hand that's going to work? You have air, but you don't have feathers. What will you use? Maybe wind chimes or something else. It depends. Use what you got. That's what witches do. And now the next thing is what words? What words are going to help you accomplish this? Usually witches do their chants and spells and rhyme. Also things that rhyme are easier to remember. Another thing that's important is timing for your spell. What moon phase do you want? What time of day? What time of year? All of these things can be incorporated and help you. So I've shared a few things from my book, Be a Wiccan Badass. Get your copy today at Amazon.com. Blessed be.